Hi guys, Stephanie here. So today I will be showing you guys my makeup collection as you guys can see from the title above. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to show you guys my makeup collection right now before I move because I just put it right into a new container and I downsized it a lot. I threw away a lot of the makeup that I will not be using and I gave that away and all that good stuff. So it is the perfect size for me right now. It is perfectly perfect for me right now. I mean an eyeshadow or a lipstick or two when it hurt, but I mean overall I'm very happy with my collection at the moment. So I want to say already that I know my collection is not the smallest and I know that my collection is not the biggest either and um, and to some people it might be a lot, to some people it might be nothing, but either way it is perfect to me. I love my collection just as it is. I think it's a great size and I know that a lot of people might say that I have way too much makeup and that I'm never going to use it. All that negative stuff, but you know it is my own money and it is my own stuff. So I get to spend my money on what I decide to spend my money on. Some people decide to spend it on food, games, clothes. I just choose to spend my money on makeup because that's what makes me happy. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? I mean, if you're still angry about it, go ahead and feel free to exit this video if you feel offended or whatever you might feel. Um, but for those of you who are interested in my makeup collection, you just keep watching and just letting you guys know that my room is fairly messy at the time. Um, on top of my makeup collection, there's a bunch of stuff that I need to put away and all this other stuff. So yeah, I didn't really kind of, I didn't really go through and make it perfect for you guys for this video just because I will only be showing you guys my collection and I'm waiting. I wanted to be... Blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to show you guys my collection right now as it is in my house at the moment so that later when I move it into my new house and I have all that set up, my brushes, every product, everything like that and it's totally perfect, I can do an updated one and show you guys how I'm storing it in my new area with what I'm given and all that great stuff. So now that I've talked for about a million years, if you guys are interested in seeing my video or my collection, um, just keep watching and uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so this is what I'm storing my makeup in at the moment. So this is what it's the just first a drawer looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take it okay, out. Okay, so here in the first drawer, I keep pretty much my bigger palettes and lip collections. So I'm going to go ahead and run through each compartment for you guys. So right here, I have chapsticks and moisturizers. This container, this little plastic one from Daiso. And then in here, I have my most used lip glosses, which are pretty much nude and pinks. So I have anything from e.l.f., NYX, uh, more NYX, some NARS. Some Smashbox, just random nude and pinks here, and I keep them separated. So these are my tube ones, and these are my um, doe foot ones. So I have my two. Oh, hi, Snow. This is my dog. I have my two main lip color sections right here. So I keep all my pinks and nudes here. As you guys can see, I'm really into pinks and nudes. I have anything from H&M, Wet n Wild, Maybelline, Elf, Nyx, Rimmel, more Elf, Revlon. Um. Just all over the border of lip products, drugstore lip products. And then in here is my second favorite. And these are all my reds and my dark colors. Um, so I have anything from NYX, ELF, um, that's a random Asian brand, Avon, ELF, again, just Remmel, a bunch of random lip products. So in here, these are all my mid-tone lip products. I wouldn't consider nude paint or nude or like light pink or dark. They're just kind of like mauve. They're in between. They're not too dark, but they're not too bright. And I don't reach for them that much. So that's why they don't have their own like nice laid out section like this. They're just kind of in here. And I keep my lip pencils in here because they fit in there. I don't really have that many too. Yeah. So in the back here, if I put this drawer in, you can't really see this section. But this is just random lip glosses. They're kind of colored and there's just random ones I haven't used yet. Um, over here I have bigger palettes and stuff like that. So here I have some e.l.f. palettes that I'm in love with. My Urban Decay Naked. I have a dupe of the Naked from Forever 21. My Smash blah, 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 blah. Smashbox Brown Eyes palette. My Too Faced Natural Eye. No, my Too Faced Naked Eye. There you go. My Too Faced Natural Eye. I have some more e.l.f. palettes. This is my, I forgot what this is, BH or Coastal, one of those two, 252 palette. And then I have another 28 neutral palette down there. And that's it. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's it for the first drawer. Okay, so this is my second drawer. And I'm not going to take it out because there's not too much going on in here, as you guys can see. So these are all my nail polishes now. I used to have a lot more, but then me and my sister split them since we... Um, used to live together and I'm moving. Hand sanitizer, acne medication, contacts, blotting paper, makeup remover wipes, sponges, q-tips, more contacts, 
um, eyebrow razors, and that's pretty much all that's going on in here. It's a product drawer for me, so I have all these lotions here that I need to use uh, from Bath & Body Works, and this one's from Victoria's Secret. I have a body butter back here. These are face lotion backups. These are hair products. These are some vitamins. B12, iron, HTP, all that good stuff. Then I have here my body spray, so I have a ton that I need to use, as you can see, and body cream. So that's pretty much all that's going on in here. Okay, so going through each compartment like I did before, these blue containers here were from Dollar Tree, just in case you guys are wondering. So back here, I have palettes, um, drugstore neutral palettes that aren't big enough to be put in the other section. So yeah, these are like quads and stuff like that. Um, here's a Wet n Wild one, NYC, Maybelline, NYX, Maybelline, all over the place. There's a wet and wild one here. Sorry, my hand's kind of shaky. This camera's super heavy. So then I have these here, and again, these are from Daiso. So this is my black and my creams. I have Maybelline, I have NYX, I have Jordana, I have Wet n Wild. They're just blacks and creams. Then here in the next little white container are my nudes and my brown. So these are all like crease shades. I don't want to take them out. So there's a Elf one, Maybelline, NYX, Jordana, Smashbox all that good stuff. Here I just keep my eyebrow palettes and eyelash curlers. Going to this bin, this bin has my one gel eyeliner just because it fits here, but other than that, these are pretty much primers and cream bases. So my e.l.f. primers, um, I have a NYX cream base. I use these two Physician Formulas eyeliners as bases as well. Maybelline, Smashbox, NYX, Urban, Urban Decay. Um, yeah, this is a fun little compartment. And then here I have colorful palettes that I don't use as much. I have Lancome, I have e.l.f. I have some singles from Benefit. So these are really cute packaging so I want to show them to you guys. Toki Doki ones that are really cute. And then these are $1 palettes from e.l.f. and then LA Colors $1 palette that I almost never reach for so I just kind of put them in the back here. So back here are bronzers and blushes I never reach for so I keep them in the back. This is my Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana highlighter which I love. I'm not using at the moment. This is a e.l.f. sunscreen powder. These are on my e.l.f. face bronzer palette so I have the cool, the warm, blah blah blah, blah all right here. This is my Bonnie Bell highlighter that I just keep here because it fits. This is my Cody Airspun. You guys might have seen it in my other tutorials. It's my translucent face powder. Okay, this little compartment here came from Target and these are all my face powders. So I have anything from Jordana, Remmel, more Remmel, um, L'Oreal, Neutrogena, Milani, some more Remmel. Okay, and then now this three box container here is from e.l.f. and I just keep my eyeliner so these are all pencil eyeliners and brow pencils and all that good stuff here I keep liquid eyeliners here I keep mascaras I'm using at the moment okay so these two big black containers here are from Daiso and these are all my concealers so I have anything from L'Oreal, I have e.l.f. Rimmel, Maybelline, Alme all that great stuff. This here is completely packed and I really love this. One of my full, like one of my favorite compartments and this is my blush compartment. I don't know why that took me a really long time to figure out how to say. Um, here I have my Wet n Wild ones. Ugh, here I have, ah, my hand's in the way. Here I have Remmel, no not Remmel, Revlon blushes. Get back in there. This is like really tight, sorry. And then here I have Victoria's Secret. I have all three of their blushes. Um, I have some NYX blushes. I have a CoverGirl blush. These are all my e.l.f. blushes. I have one blush and bronzer mini duo from NARS. I have a hard candy fox in a box and I have an e.l.f. blush down there. Okay, and then right here I just keep samples. This is where I keep my foundation. So I have Maybelline Fit Me, MAC, uh, Sephora primer and yeah, that's pretty much my makeup collection. But that is my makeup collection I know hard to believe that's all of it, right? Uh, whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it has helped you guys in some way to I don't know how makeup collection videos help you see how to store your items, I suppose. Anyways, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any questions or comments or any requests or anything about the products that you guys saw in my video, you guys want to see 
reviews or anything like that please 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 let me know in the comments below greatly greatly appreciate it i really want to talk to you guys i feel like no one wants to talk to me it makes me very sad not really but kind of i don't want to hurt you guys feelings or say not really but you know anyways um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment and subscribe and thumbs up if you guys like videos on my collection and so uh, yeah stay tuned for all my new videos coming up i have a nude lip video coming up for Asian skins. As you guys can see, I have quite a few nude lipsticks. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to record that because that's a lot of editing and putting on lipsticks and wiping them off and all this other stuff. I'm talking way too much now. See you guys later. Thanks so much for supporting this video and watching it. I will talk to you guys next time. I'm still here.